Hello and welcome back to our Extra Foundations Unmodded Let's Play Poorly. This is episode 100, the final episode of the season. And uh, we're not going to end on any kind of like grand design or anything, but what we are going to do is we're going to end by firing a bunch of missiles. We've got a we've got 200 missiles to use and uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to see how it goes. So, uh, I think what I want to do first before we get into this cuz we got a whole bunch of xenon to kill. I think I don't want them all to be firing. I want to do firing one at a time. So I'm going to... I have two launchers. So that essentially I've got 200 missiles. Or no, do I have 100? I have 100 missiles. So they'll each fire 50. Or no, that one of them could fire 100. Uh, no, you know what? Maybe I will double them up. Because uh, otherwise it's not it, it's not as, uh, not as good. Okay. So uh, here we go. Was a big old bang. And those are our beams. Oh no! Chocolate Hannibal! Chocolate Hannibal is dead. Oh, that was the uh, end of episode, end of season uh, sacrifice, right? That's what we're gonna call that. Probably didn't need to fire missiles at the end. I got my defense drones going out. Come on now. All right, got it. P. Ooh, there's a P. Got my got rest of my crew is here. M N P M. Ah, that's what I need. Damn it. M M M M M P. There we go. That's what I want. No, but this guy's coming at me. Come at me, bro. Uh, it would be so much cooler if those were guns and not beams. <laughs> it would just sound more satisfying. There's the P I want. It sounded weird. Yeah, right. Like those those guns there that my uh, that my buddy's sending out. Oh, but he's not gonna make it. Oh, he's gonna be in trouble. missiles are amazing. They just have to get through the shields. That's the problem. <sighs> I 
fucking love this game. This, to me, is what dogfighting should really feel like. There should be just like a crazy number of ships out on the, uh, like of different sizes, different capabilities, just out on the field. You don't usually get that with most uh, space combat games, honestly. You don't get quite this level of frenzy. Even in something like Elite Dangerous, the big problem there is that all those ships are so slow. Like, they move like World War One fighters, which is kind of the point, so that's, I mean, it's not a knock on them necessarily, but they really just aren't, they aren't, they don't work right, they don't feel right to me. enemy buddy ah, <laughs> those missiles are so good oh I'm having way too much fun with this Now these are heavy heat seekers, uh, or heavy guided, I guess. No, what are they actually? I think they're heavy guided. Heavy guided. So they're they're going to be fairly slow, which means I'm not really going to want to be using them against um, these fighter ships because they just they won't reach them. Oh, somebody accidentally shot me. <laughs> That's all right. No harm, no foul. Go another P. Nope, oh, he's already dead. Guys! I just love watching my guys go. Especially when they got guns. Aw, oh, damn it. This one's got a lot of chaff on him. Wasting a lot of ammo. Wasting a lot of uh, missiles on him. Ooh. 
Ooh, that came close. I'm getting it, but nope. Explosion. Oh, oh no, that's a K, and it looks like they took out, what, they take out the Osaka? What did they take out? Got to stay away from that K. Stop chaffing me! Oh, this guy's a toughie. Oh, but he's done. Get out of here. Uh, my uh, my shields are going down. Get. Damn it! This 
This is gonna be bad. There we go. All right. I'm gonna head towards. Holy shit! I'm gonna head towards that factory over there. Oh no, Batman! That man died. Awaiting orders. All right, bullet. It's just you and me now. M. Oh boy, look at that. Hundred eighty-three vanilla Hannibal. Okay, let's let's have you actually deposit. Civilian ship A. Well, no, don't want to worry about him. Civilian ship A. Oh no, we've lost bullet too. Dang, everybody's going. Well, I need to go and uh, get myself patched up a little bit, so we're gonna go here. I mean, I gotta say, we took out a lot of bad guys and only lost two ships. And didn't die ourselves. That's uh, that's a pretty sturdy amount of work. Look at all this stuff that we got. We got more field arrays. Got some space flight eggs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that K is coming in close. There's a resupply ship here. Yeah. There's a mm, agricultural trader. These guys are kind of a bit screwed. Um, that K is going to probably wipe them out. And we are running into the problem, as I think I may have mentioned a few episodes back, that because we weren't really getting involved in building ships and, and creating shipyards and stuff, uh, the Xenon were eventually going to start overrunning. And this might be it now. I mean, it depends. We'll see how Control where this system. K... I mean, the K is half dead. Prime. We'll see what happens to it. But the Xenon are getting a lot more uh, presence in this area and probably other spots as well. And, and that just means that over time they're going to overrun. And they're overrunning because uh, because the other factions don't have enough... Uh, they're not building ships quickly enough. And they're not building ships quick, quickly enough because they can't. Because they're... It's designed... The game is designed so that the player has to be involved in, uh, in the production chain, in the supply chain in order for the, the um, in, in order for the factions to to survive really Docking against the granted. against the xenon and the cock also but to much to a much lesser extent so typically i think people generally get about 50 hours in 50 to 75 hours in before the xenon really start taking the you know, like taking their uh, fight to the factions, and if you're not ready, then you're kind of screwed. To have you aboard. Sometimes it happens earlier, sometimes it happens later. Uh, it just really depends on kind of how it's randomly generated at the beginning and kind of some of the actions that you take. Okay, so uh, where are we? We're here. We should probably fill out our missiles. Got all our defense drones. See how these guys are doing. Alright, already they're starting to fill out uh, hull parts a little bit more. What?
Oh, did I accidentally? I did probably accidentally do that at some point. Gave it the full amount. Yeah, or 20k, or 20 mil. Or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, 20 mil, that's a, quite a bit. We pulled in a bunch from the depot. Oh dear. Oh no, that's probably just a civilian uh, traffic issue. Oh boy, yeah. That was all sorts of rough. There's a hop gas miner. Do we want to try it? No. Oh, you know what we do need? Oh, oh yeah, advanced electronics transporter's done. Um, okay, what do you what do you need? Identifying criminal vessels. Please assist in pursuit. You also want advanced electronics, so let's go back to uh to that. And let's, uh, let's sell you, yeah, to the wharf. Not making a lot of money there, but all right. We mainly need to just distribute is the thing. You know what, and we might do that too. What we might try to do is just give it the distribute wares uh, or whatever it's called, fill gaps or whatever it's called now. Uh, but actually, let's see. Can Can't, I help? We don't we have, have. new orders. We don't. Navigation. Oh boy, okay. We don't have, Bye. um, we don't have, uh, uh, seminars. That's what I wanted to say. Seminars for them. So they're, they're, they're still just one star, so I don't think I can even do, yeah, I can't even do fill shortages yet. I can only do the local auto trade. Um, that's all right. Basic explorer guy needs something to do. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Oh, we could have him go into here. Explore in here. That'll be good. Dog and Pony Show. Hasn't really run into any trouble with this guy yet, so... Oh, but no. Known criminal identified. Please assist in pursuit. Going to the void. Dog and Pony Show is there. There's definitely Xenon right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording while we make our way over there so we can uh, end the episode and end the season with a bang. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there's a P. But I bet you they're, the rest of them are down here somewhere. Yep, there they are. Requesting immediate backup. P. Auto. Disengage. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually have Dog and Pony come and help. Join the fight. All right. Come and get you. P. Nope. Nope. Guess he's already dead. Get out of here.
did I bite off more than I could chew? Ugh, oh, that would be so on brand. I did. I really did. Oh dear. That might be it. I mean, I did save just before. Oh, this is going to be a fun way to end the episode. And I'm dead. And so is Dog and Pony. Well, I think that's going to be it then. Oh god. Are you shooting at me now? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Don't worry, not a game over, but it's it's, uh, it's brilliant. Uh, I like the way this ended the episode and ended the season. But when we come back down the road, I will just be restoring from the previous save, which was just a few minutes before when I was going through the gate. And... Uh, when we come back, we will be uh, hopefully running maybe with version 6.0 if it's available at that time. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to take a break so I can focus on some other things for a bit. Uh, the Star Wars Inner Worlds mod uh, playthrough. Uh, do more uh, with the modded playthrough. So uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've really enjoyed playing these 100 episodes, roughly 50 hours of gameplay. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the other side.